With the release of IMS Map 360, which is the next generation of our Map Scenes Forensic CAD, we get a lot of questions about what are the main differences uh, when working with point clouds. Well, the first difference is in Map Scenes Forensic CAD, when you opened up a point cloud, it opened up in a separate window. And to work with the point cloud in your drawing area, you would always uh, uh, typically read with trainer users to split the program uh, in half on their display so they see the drawing area in the point cloud. You then would zoom into an area. So let's say we, we want to draw some line work, perhaps around the, along this curb here. And from time to time you would also have to hit the regen button to load more points. In this case there was no more to load. You would search your pencil tool and then pick on point cloud points. And you'll see in your drawing area there's the line work coming in. So you're always switching back and forth. If you wanted to cut out an area of the point cloud. We had some tools here. We called it a cutting cutting cube. I've got a cutting cube that I've defined here and then to apply it you would hit this little checkbox which would hide the points. And you were sort of limited to the drawing tools that we had built in here which is just a line, a polyline arcs, circles, and points. And if you had to work with large uh, point clouds, you were always constantly having to hit the regen button to load those point clouds. So if I turn off our cutting cube here and zoom out, you're going to see sometimes you'd get these patchy areas. And to load more points, you would have to hit the regen button. So I got a body here. I need to regen to see more points. So that's how the point cloud engine you worked in Forensic CAD. So let's close that up and let's look at IMS Map 360. So with this, that's the next generation of our software products for the uh, Forensic segment. Got a brand new interface. Uh, uses a ribbon interface which makes it a lot easier to use. We're just going to create a new scene and we're going to import the same point cloud but this time we're going to import it into the new point cloud engine in IMS Map 360. So this point cloud here, I do have it. Uh, I do have some of the points on the outside trimmed off. But some of the uh, the immediate things you should note is, as I pan around and zoom around in here, there is no regenerations needed. As I zoom into any of the locations here, it immediately loads all of the point cloud points based on my drawing screen. The other thing to note, you're not working with your point cloud in a separate drawing window, which means that any of the draw tools that you use, so all of the built-in CAD tools, and there are many because it is a true uh, full engineering CAD engine uh, that's powering IMS Map 360, you can snap to any of those point cloud points, you can dimension directly to the point cloud points, so everything is done inside of your drawing window, making it a lot more efficient and quick to work with point clouds. If we try to do the same thing there, where we had created a, uh, a cutting cube, it's going to load our point cloud ribbon. So instead of using a cutting cube, you can just pick an area in your window here and it'll hide everything outside of it 
and you'll see that was a lot more efficient and quick than in our old map scenes and there are a lot of uh, just little tools like that in uh, improved workflows that make working with point clouds much more efficient inside of IMS Map 360.